A color scale is a sequence of smoothly changing colors that represent smaller and larger values. They come in handy to visualize relationships between numerical values in large data sets. Color scales are commonly used to represent profit, investments made, temperature, time or any other measurable quantity. You can choose either two or three color scales depending on the data. Using color scales and conditional formatting, you can input the data. Based on the set threshold, Excel highlights the cell based on that value. Applying a preset color scale. To add a color scale, select a range of cells that you want to format. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click on Conditional Formatting and select Color Scales. Excel offers a total of 12 default color scales. Six are three color scales and the other six are two color scales. Hover over them to see the preview of the color scale and their description. To apply the color scale, click on the color scale, select red, yellow and green. By default, for three color scales, Excel uses the 50th percentile, also known as median or midpoint. The median divides the data set into two equal parts. Half of the values lie above the median and half are below the median. In this case, the cell that holds median is colored in yellow, the cell with maximum value 90 is colored in red and minimum value 12 in green. All other cells are colored proportionally in different shades of those three main colors. When the selected data contains any blank cells or any error values, the conditional formatting skips those cells and highlights the remaining cells. For example, G9. When you select the default color scales, the values are automatically highlighted with the default color without specifying any conditions. Custom color scale. If none of the predefined scales suits your needs, you can create a custom color scale. Select the cells to be formatted. Click on conditional formatting and select color scales. Click on more rules. In the new formatting rule dialog box, configure the options. Under edit the rule description, click on the format style drop down. Select either two color scale or three color scale. Select three color scale. By default, the minimum midpoint and maximum threshold values will have their types as lowest value, percentile and highest value respectively. In the type drop down, you can change the nature of the values. Set minimum to 10%, select percent in the type drop down, enter 10 in the value box. This will color the bottom 10% values in the darkest shade of the color you chose for minimum value. Set maximum to 90%. This will highlight the top 10% values in the darkest shade of the color chosen for the maximum value. Midpoint is left default, 50th percentile. So the cell containing the median is colored with the color selected for midpoint. Click on the color drop down. For more colors, click on more colors. Pick a color and click on OK. Pick colors for midpoint and maximum values. You can see the transition of colors based on the lowest to highest value in the preview box. Click on OK. The customized color scale is applied to the selected cells. Apply color scales based on a formula. For example, conditionally format ship dates using two color scale based on the current date. Select the cells to be formatted. Click on Conditional Formatting and select Color Scales. Click on More Rules. In the Format Style drop-down, select Two Color Scale. In the Type drop-down under Minimum, select Formula. To color all dates less than or equal to today with the same color, enter this formula. Today in the Minimum Value box. Pick a color. Leave the Maximum Value as Highest Value. Pick a color. Click on OK to apply the color. All the dates are colored accordingly. Show color scale without values. For color scales, Excel does not provide the show scale only option. But you can easily hide numbers by applying a special custom number format. In your conditionally formatted data set, select the values you want to hide. Open the format cells dialog box. In the number tab, select custom. A cell can hold four types of data positive and negative numbers, zero or text. This is the format for a cell. 
the format for four different types of data types is divided by semicolons enter three semicolons in the type field the format is removed and only a semicolon is specified which indicates that we do not want any formatting for the cells this is an indication for excel to hide any content that is there in the cell click on okay only color scale is shown without the values remove color scales you can remove color scales for some data or the whole worksheet select the data from which you want to remove color scale click on conditional formatting select clear rules and select clear rules from selected cells color scale from selected cells is removed to remove color scale from entire sheet select clear rules from entire sheet to download practice excel file please click on the link in the description if you like this video please subscribe to our channel